Okay, due to some of the limitations with Grammarly, uh, mainly that you can't use it directly in a Google Doc, let's look at an alternative. So I have a sample file here I'd like to edit, and I have it directly in Google Docs. Now, as we've already mentioned in the overview, we looked at extensions and apps in an earlier, in an earlier session, but there's a third option called add-ons, and the add-ons are going to be installed through the application itself. So if you search for these on the web store, you're likely not to find them. In fact, you're not going to find them. So I come into my document. I can say add-ons, get an add-on. I'm going to search for an add-on called grade proof. And uh, proofreading with Al. So it's a four star. I'm going to install it. And if I look for it in my apps and extensions, I won't find it because it's not there. So when you do want to use an add-on like this, you simply have to come up to add-ons. It will now be listed, and I can start that up. It'll take a second to analyze the document. You can see that it thinks there are five spelling, two grammar, and five rephrasing mistakes. It also gives me an overall word count, a sentence count, a readability level, so this is not very high a grade level, so I'm currently writing at the 8th grade level, um, and how long it will take to read or speak. So let's view these suggestions. Uh, in this case it did identify the misspelled word. It doesn't give me the same opportunity that Grammarly did to just pick the selection. It didn't pick that out, but let's see. Learned about a new program and this is a good, this is a good suggestion. I mean, I've recently learned about a new program that is named uh, program named would be a little cleaner writing. Doesn't know about Grammarly, but Grammarly is correct in this case. The only thing that's incorrect about it is I didn't capitalize it. Now, in making that change, I've approved it. Uh, it seems like if you were writing. Now, alternately, also, something we could have looked at at Grammarly is there would have been a place to um, add it to your dictionary. So next time you came across it, it wouldn't have been a problem. Or like in a regular spell check, you can ignore or ignore all. Okay, writing. Now, again, great suggestion here um, that you're not getting with the basic version of Grammarly. In the premium, I'm sure you would. It seems like if you were writing lots of stuff, it's it's identified that as not being the best phrase in the world. Um, the suggestions, many stuff, much stuff, most stuff, are really not going to work here, but it at least called my attention to it. So, um, I can get in there. Do my editing and then move on. Uh, is it possible that I repeated the word here? I did. And, and if I really wanted to say really, really, I could have separated them um, with a comma, but here I'm going to have the opportunity to replace them. So you can see simple tool, great proofreading tool for students. Um, helps them identify and and correct their errors. And if used correctly, it also helps them learn a little bit about the mistakes. I mean, if they just randomly, you know, go through and click suggestions, that's not going to help them. Um, but to really I see the mistake and to try to figure out what was wrong and how to fix it can be a good tool over time to uh, increase your abilities in writing. If you click the Apply Changes button, it will go right back and insert those into your Google Doc. So um, I think it's a nice little, nice little add-on, and uh, thank you, Al.